Hi there, I'm Sarah and this is my tiny dog Bella. I was nomad for two years and decided I wanted to go to the RTR for the first time but I didn't want to take my trailer so what I did was I went car camping in my forerunner that I built out just for this trip. This is part one to the RTR in 2022 wandering. In January of 2022, Bella and I took off from Tucson and headed towards Quartzsite, Arizona to attend our first ever RTR. Once we got to the outskirts of Phoenix, I actually remembered I needed to hit Walmart one last run to make sure that I had enough propane to last. Even though it's January, I worry about the heat with Bella in the car. So since she was a puppy, she's always just easily gone into my purse since she's just itty bitty. So anytime I go inside, I always make sure that I've got a purse big enough to put her in, but she's pretty adamant about looking where we're at before she goes in the purse to make sure she's not missing anything. All right. I'm back. It took seriously five minutes, huh? That's even waiting in line. They had the propane right by the door. So, park. I don't kind of fun in the parking lot. Get that situated. Um, okay. You want to get out now? Okay, go ahead. Get in your bed. Go, go, go. Get out. Go, Bella. Good girl. And she's a fuzz bucket. <laughs> Literally. So, trash for the gas station. But ten bucks, and I just needed to get two of the green bottles of propane. I got two because it's cheaper. So it was, I think. 957 or something like that for the two bottles and then with tax it's like ten dollars and thirty cents um the walmart i got my groceries and stuff they were out but they had the stuff right at the door so now we're going to the gas station <laughs> to get on the road. So from the Walmart that I stopped at outside of Phoenix to Quartzsite, it's about an hour and 45 minutes. And that's assuming there isn't any accidents or construction or massive traffic that's going on, which I actually did have to uh, drive through some construction and it slowed me down for maybe 10 minutes or so, but nothing too bad. All right, it's 5.06 and I'm here. Bella's up and ready. You're awake? You ready to get out? There's so many people here. Definitely a lot of campers. There's all the free camping area. There's a truck right there. There's a lot.
At this point, I basically gave up on using my camera and went with my cell phone just to take pictures. It was a full moon, beautiful sunset. Bella got comfortable outside while I moved stuff around in the runner. The nights were kind of chilly, uh, not too bad actually, but the daytime was absolutely beautiful. This is Bella while she was in the runner hanging out while I started to cook dinner. I have a platform bed in the back of the runner that I built. Underneath, I have containers that I am able to pull out with my toiletries, my mobile kitchen, and additional things that I may need, um, like a jump box and portable air compressor and things like that. All of that is stored underneath that platform bed. I've installed a battery operated light bar that is up um, above my head when I'm cooking at the back of the runner. And I also have my corrugated plastic window shades up so that way there's a little bit more privacy while sleeping. I used signs. They're corrugated plastic that were signs from a mobile store that they were going to throw out and I just trimmed them out and I put black felt on one side. I am going to make them look a little better. So this is my bathroom and shower tent. I went ahead and put my bucket bathroom in there with my bathroom bags and all those items in there on one side and then the other side I used as storage so I went ahead and put extra things that I didn't need to keep in the runner the entire time so I have my solar panels there I have my dry food plus my cooler bag in there on top of a small table uh, folding table that I have and I also have the portable stove. I took a two burner portable stove that I had borrowed that I wasn't sure if I was going to need. I had that in there with the green bottles of propane that I'd gotten at Walmart as well as my five gallon water jug. All of those items were stored in there so that way not everything is back on the platform bed while I'm using it to sleep. At night, I moved the runner closer to the bathroom tent so that way when I open the door, I go directly to the rug, the outdoor rug, and then into the bathroom tent if needed. I also have solar powered little LED fairy lights that I put all the way around the runner so that it's kind of a indication to other campers that I am you know in the runner that that is my rig so it's kind of an etiquette thing where some people will do a rock outlining I have this extra long solar light that I'm able to use so not to say that anybody's going to actually come that close to the runner but it's just one of those things that it's nice to have and this is what I'm looking at inside so I have not made the window shades for the front windows as of yet. So I just have my pop-up window visors uh, up in the two front windows. I've also got my pop-up shade in the windshield. I've got a Lucy light there in the center that basically lights up everything for me if I need. I've got wipes handy there in the front seat with my jacket, my jackery that I borrowed because underneath the jackery I also have my Kodiak uh, 1200 that is there. I just didn't know if I was going to need that much so I was kind of testing out the smaller jackery that I actually borrowed from my mom. So that's charging my devices. Bella's loving the fact that she gets to sleep in the bed with me and it took her no time at all to get comfortable. All right, good night. See you guys in the morning. All right, first colossal fail of the weekend or the week is my camera that I use. Like the selfie.
the video because that's what this battery is. It's front and camera so that's like we can't really see anything else. The battery is toast. So that's what this battery is. So now I get to go on Amazon and work that out. I actually want to try to hurry up and get this really done. Okay, after I got my bed made, it was time to go to the RTR. It's a short drive through the BLM spot out to the pavement, and then I drive into town, which isn't too far. You turn and you go past the camel sign. I decided I needed to stop and drop off some trash first. Once I got that dropped off, went to the RTR spot. The RTR is a annual gathering of nomads and it is put on by Homes on Wheels Alliance and the main speaker is Bob Wells. Once you park and you walk into the RTR, the first thing you'll see is the free area. It's kind of a swap meet area where you can drop off your items you'd like to donate and you can also take a look and see if there's anything you'd like to take. Once inside, you'll see all the different areas in the RTR as well as Bob Wells speaking. There were some sweepstakes going on. You could purchase raffle tickets or sweepstakes tickets, I guess would be the way to call them. And you could either win Bob Wells' van this is a van that he lived in for a number of years and he donated it to Homes on Wheel Alliance to be able to raffle off. There was this cardboard or I guess wood van to be able to sign. There's a cork board that has the needs and wants and you could put up a note card and if anybody had the items that you needed, they would reach out. There was also some items up there that they were gifting to anybody that pulled the card. There was different talks at different times. Um, this talk specifically was about how to stay warm in your rig in the winter. Yes, sir. Right, it'll be a flu symptoms. It'll be kind of a flu symptom, but boy, by the time you've got symptoms, you're a risk, your life is a risk. You're doing damage to your body right then. So that's why you gotta have a carbon monoxide de detector. Have it mounted out where you can see it. You can take a quick glance at it just all the time. Be aware of what the carbon monoxide level is in your rig. If you're burning fuel inside, that is an absolute must. Uh, there was a quiet hand back here. Yes, ma'am? It was a great big area, it was on a baseball field, so everybody had the option to stay socially distanced away from each other. People brought their own chairs or blankets to sit on and get comfortable. And you could come and go as you please, listening to the different speakers on the different subjects. After sitting through a few of the different meetups, I decided to go over to the swap meet over off of Tyson Wells. There is a little bit of everything to be had there and Bella and I decided we wanted to go check it out. It was actually a little busier than I expected and it definitely was dusty and windy. So I did put Bella in my backpack and her little head was popping out while I walked around and we enjoyed all the shopping.
truly a little bit of everything. You could find gifts, you could find groceries, you could find a dog wash even. There was a booth that did self-serve dog washes as well as they had a groomer. So if you're traveling to Quartzsite with a pet, that's definitely where you're going to want to stop. As you go through all the different areas, you get closer to the big tent and there's even RV trailers, teardrops, fifth wheels, all things that are for sale back there. This little teardrop was really cool and seemed to have everything that you would need and it really was uh, cool. but it packed a pretty hefty price tag. I think this one was $16,000. So obviously a little bit more than I needed because I seem to have all of those things right in the back of my Forerunner. Bella and I worked up an appetite. So we grabbed ourselves some food. I got her a little treat. She's loving life in my backpack. And then we decided to go ahead and head back towards camp. All right, guys, that's all there is for part one. Please, if you could and if you would, like and subscribe. So I'll make a part two and you can see the rest of the adventure for car camping at the RTR and going forward, all of my trailer adventures as well. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait for you to see all the times I've wandered.